The Giants retreating to a red eye back to New York as they start the season 0-1. The night before, this is what millions of Americans were doing 20 years ago tonight, turning off ABC's Monday Night Football and preparing for work or school the next day. No clue of the tragic events that would unfold just a few hours later. This is at the World Trade Center. Obviously a major fire there and there has been some sort of explosion. We don't fully know the details. There is one report as of yet unconfirmed that a plane has hit of the World Trade Center. This is what our country woke up to the next morning. And for those of us old enough to remember all the feelings that came with that tragic set of events, shock and fear, confusion, anger, sadness, hopelessness. In an instant, the world changed. Here on our first coast, our military men and women impacted immediately. The events led to a war on terror that would last two decades. Others who call this area home called to action to help with the investigation and the recovery. And then there are heroes. A father who lived here on the first coast talking about his son's final heroic moments on that fateful day. Over the next 30 minutes, my colleagues and I are sharing those stories of hope and courage and sacrifice. And two words to think about tonight. Let's roll. Some say those words spoken by Todd Beamer aboard Flight 93 started the war on terror on American soil and that put an end to a potential second attack on our nation's capital. His father lived on the first coast then. And just this week, I spoke to him about his son's heroic legacy. This is Lisa Jefferson, shift supervisor. I understand your plane's been hijacked. Yes, I'm Todd Beamer. I'm on United Flight 93. Two words with enormous consequence. Let's roll. Oh, Immortalized in movies, Todd Beamer fighting back against the terrorists. Flight 93 crashed into a field in Pennsylvania, saving who knows how many lives. I believe then, I believe now that their target was our nation's capital building. And it was close. Because at jet speed, the terrorists were only 20 minutes away from reaching their intended target. Todd's dad, David Beamer, living then in Ponte Vedra. You know, we have a whole generation now that, that wasn't born on 9-11. He says we must make sure they know the courage of Americans on that day. He wishes everyone would visit the field in Pennsylvania. The Flight 93 National Memorial, which is now a national park, uh, is Terrific. For every victim. There are uh, large uh, walls, stone walls, uh, polished. Are you there? And Some his here? piece? He finds large. it in the call Todd made from the plane, picked up by a telephone operator in Chicago. Our father, who art in heaven. He, he has to, to pray, the Lord's Prayer, okay? In fact, not too long ago, they had been spending some special Bible study on that model prayer. David says his family counts on their Christian faith. Todd's soul is okay. He's been having great days every day these last 20 years, okay? Unlike some of the rest of us. For David, the memory is still raw, seeing the terrorists back then. I remember vividly in the days after 9-11, our enemies celebrating and dancing in the street. But then he says, think about it for 20 years. No more 9-11s here in our homeland. None, zero. And he credits brave American men and women. Carried on the fight, sacrificing greatly. Blood, limbs, their very lives. But now, 20 years after 9-11, for the first time, his anxiety is peaking again watching the scenes, the mock coffins with American flags, for example, in Kabul. That puts me on edge. But from that anxiety, one last thing I wanted to point out. There is something you told me 20 years ago that has changed my life every single day. He told me the very last words he said to his son. I said, hey, uh, here's a big hug. I love you, Beam. 
uh, be careful. See you later. And so now every text, every call in my family ends with love you. Thank you for inspiring me. I'll never forget you told me that. As long as you, as long as you do it every chance you get, you won't miss that last chance. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News on your side. By the way, Todd's wife was pregnant on 9-11. She had a little girl a few months later, Morgan Kay. Morgan was Todd's middle name.